Hi there folks, this is Paul Bars signing in for a quick how-to tutorial on using the WordPress plugin Duplicator. Now Duplicator is a wonderful plugin for creating backup packages for the WordPress side of your website. This is something that we're going to be doing manually and in the first part, or actually in this video, I'm only showing the first part of what Duplicator can do. It's just how to create the backup package. Do a quick Google search for how to clone a WordPress website if you'd like to find my video on how to also reinstall that package should something happen to your website and you need to use the backup. Now here's the thing, there are automated programs and apps out there that can do this for you at a fee. Yes there are. But if you're only doing content updates from time to time, this really is all you need. And in my case, with my website, if I've got content going on there, you know, a couple of times a month, I'll do that after I put the new content on. If I do a bucket load of work on any given one day, guess what? I will do my backup just after I've done all of that work. You need to do the same thing. So once you've installed the plugin, it will appear right down the bottom there in your dashboard menu. Simply, all you have to do is create a new backup package. Now you may have seen, I already had a couple on this particular site which were ready to go. There are some options that are in there. You probably won't need them unless you've got such a tremendous amount of content that you might want to filter some of those things out. But if I now click Next, it scans my site and it looks for files, possible problems and so on. So here we have, it says 150 megabytes is a warning on the total size. Yeah, for me if it's over 500 megabytes, then I might be curious. Large files, oh this is not uncommon where people upload usually large files and they are often, uh, here we go, images, graphics and images. Now these ones I believe actually came with the template for this. We're still playing around with this particular site but you might like to look at compressing those if your file sizes are coming up often too large. However, I'm going to click yes, no problems. I've never had problems with those things. The only things that have ever given me problems on other people's servers are things like PHP setup and so on. But I don't have that problem with my own hosting. It now builds a package for me. I can go and grab a cup of tea, it's only going to take 30 seconds or so, boil the water, by the time I come back it should be just about ready. And this is for an average medium sized website. And we're done. All we have to do now is download the installer and the archive, which is a very simple thing. Click, it's going to ask me where do I want to save this? I save that file and then I do the same for the other one. This is the package. So that takes, depending on the size, a couple of minutes. And that's it. That has now backed up everything and I'm now downloading that entire backup to my computer. Very, very important. But there is one more thing that I think you should do. And so here we have now the two packages that were downloaded, the backup package and should you ever need it, the reinstall package. So what else should we be doing? I think it's also very important not just to save them to your computer, but also to save them to Dropbox. So I've copied those. I'm now going to paste them, the whole uh, folder into Dropbox which is a cloud-based system. You can use Dropbox, you can use Drive, you can use Microsoft's whatever they have, doesn't matter. Here's the important thing. Never ever ever trust your own computer to be reliable enough for your website's backups. Have a backup of the backup somewhere in the cloud. Thank you very much and I'll talk to you again soon.